Each year, cancer kills around 9.6 million people globally and costs over 1 trillion US dollars. Approximately 70% of deaths occur in low and middle income countries where cancer is often diagnosed at a late stage or left untreated because diagnosis and treatment are unaffordable. In Southeast Asia, cancer is the number one killer and can quickly devastate families. Some treatments cost hundreds of times the minimum wage. For the poor and underinsured, it's a heartbreaking choice. Skip treatment or go into potentially disastrous debt to pay for it. Up until 2011, most economic studies of cancer had been done in high income countries. We needed data that showed the scale of the problem to policymakers in order for them to protect their people and their economies from the catastrophic impacts of the disease. The ASEAN COSIN Oncology, or ACTION, study followed over 9,500 cancer patients from public and private hospitals across eight countries in the first year after diagnosis. We examined a combination of factors like household economic well-being, patient survival and quality of life, and links between health insurance, social economic status, and patients stopping or not undertaking treatment. Through our work, we were able to get a real-time snapshot of the burden of cancer in the region. The study found the cost of cancer was a significant driver of poverty in the region, with the poorest hit the hardest. For many, medical costs exceeded their annual household incomes. What we found is that a year after diagnosis, three quarters of cancer patients had either died or had suffered financial catastrophe. Only a quarter were alive with no financial devastation. Almost half of those who survived had used their entire life savings. Since 2015, policymakers, government officials, patient advocacy groups, health experts and industry have used the data to advocate for equitable cancer care policies and affordable care. In 2018, the study was discussed in the Filipino Parliament before the passing of the National Integrated Cancer Control Act. Other similar legislation to reduce the economic burden of cancer has also been passed in Indonesia, Malaysia and Vietnam. And so ultimately, what this shows us is that um, universal health insurance coverage is critical for protecting people from economic hardship associated with cancer and other diseases. The impact of this work has been profound and far-reaching. It has provided governments with clear evidence to drive better cancer care policies and prevent poverty due to treatment costs. Follow-up studies have been conducted that build on ACTION's initial findings and impact, providing governments with more evidence to drive better cancer care policies, prevent poverty due to treatment costs and give cancer patients a choice.